let's talk about the hierarchy of being a good singer. So on the bottom rung of being a good singer, what do you think is the single most important thing? He can either sing or he can't. What do they right. say? Uh, it's whether you're in tune. That's right? exactly right. Yeah. So pitch, pitch, pitch is on the bottom. It, it's like the bottom rung. Right. What is that? What is pitch? Just being able to hit the note that you want to be able to hit and, and, and or maintain and sustain it, right? Right. Right note at the right time. Yeah. And how do we judge that, just musically speaking, how do we Whether judge it's in key. Right. right. The, the note on the scale, yeah. the location of it, right? What controls that? So the location of the note on the scale, but if we're talking about your vocal cords, what controls that? How do you control pitch when you're singing? This is a real question. It is a real oh, okay. question. Um, it's a fake question. I mean, are you talking about as guttural as your diaphragm, or are you talking about I, I am, your but vocal cord? I'm talking about your vocal yeah. cords because your diaphragm doesn't really control pitch. Yeah. When you're tuning your guitar, how do you do that? How do you tune a string if it's out? I turn the knob. What does right. that knob do to the string? It tightens it up. It does. Yeah. So pitch, vocal cord wise, is controlled by tightening and loosening. So then we can say that pitch, the location of the note on the scale, is controlled by the tension of your vocal cords. Got it? Okay. The second thing on Mama Jan's hierarchy here is the word dynamics. What controls that? That's more of your diaphragm then, right? It is. Like the, the power in which we can actually project it. It is. And let me have your hand for a second. Yeah. Put your hand in front of my mouth. If I go, yeah! Did you feel a lot of air pressure? No. No. And so what it really has to do is the pressure behind the air, right. not the airflow itself. Coming out, right. You, okay. you understand? Yeah, yeah. So if I'm singing soft or loud, right. or loud about the same. It's, about, it's about the pressure behind the air, not airflow. Okay. So what a lot of people do is as they're singing, they might do more more ever, like that. Right. They're really just diluting the sound, but it's the same amount of pressure, right. which is how people get in trouble. Yeah. Got it? Okay. So having a lot of airflow has more to do with rung number three, which is tone. Okay. And tone would be more of the quality of sound. Okay? All right. The crayon. What color crayon does somebody have? Right. Is it dark? Is it rich? Is it thin? Is yeah. it nasal? Is it thick? Is it fat? Is it airy? What controls that? That's a good question. It is a good question. And, and what most people don't do is change the positional reference of their vocals. Uh -huh. Like, I can, I can make my voice sound really nasal. Right. Or I can make my voice sound really dark. Yeah. Or, you know, deeper that way. Uh, or I can make it sound more muted. Uh-huh. Try that. Make, g give me a nasal tone. Hey, hey, hey. hey, Jan. There you go. Okay, do it again like a nerdy sound. Go ahead. Hey, Jan. Okay, now what you did was you shifted the, the, the actual vibration, right. the presence of it. Okay. You shifted the position. So the way that we control tone is by vocal positions. Got it? Okay. And then the last guy up here is called technique. Now, you referred to technique a minute ago when you were talking about being able to inflect. Right. Right? Technique is like the ornaments on the Christmas tree. Once we have the tree, then we decorate it. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So all of the ornaments, all the little spits and curls and growls and pops and grinds right. and the things that we do that give us our vocal thumbprint that yeah. makes us sound unique to us, okay. the more you can move around, the more you can do in the actual vocal area is what's going to give you more of that kind of quality. So that's kind of how I play the game. Okay. And what I'm going to do is show you by example. And the first singer, I'm just going to, I'm going to do the same segment of the song. Okay. And the first one is just, she's going to be somebody who can just sing in tune. Okay. Okay. Right. So if I go, it's late in the evening and you're breathing next to someone else. She's okay. She's in tune. She can right. sing in tune, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and you know, the basic tone of her voice is all right. You wouldn't yeah. run screaming out of a building, right. right? Okay, so singer number two can sing in tune, and she can sing with dynamics. And dynamics are? Uh, change in volume. Changes right? in volume, yeah. okay? And here's the interesting thing about that. Think about why we don't, why don't we yell at babies? 
Probably like. We don't, we don't want to scare them, do we? <laughs> loud sounds scare babies. And it's just not nice. Babies and puppies, right. right? Yeah. Like I can look at my dog and I can go, I love you, and she'll cower. Yeah. Because I've said something right. in a way that she's not used to. Or I could look at her and go, I'm going to kill you. Right. And she'll wag her tail, right? So the human, human beings interactions emotively, we're very, very sensitive to volume. It says something different emotively to us, yeah. does it not? Right. Okay, let's find out. It's late in the evening, and you're breathing next to someone else. So which singer would you rather listen to, singer well, number, number one or singer number, number two? Number two is more, Why? way more interesting. Right? Okay, interesting. And all I really did was change volume, correct? Yeah. Okay, so singer number three is going to get out the crayon box. Okay. So we're going to have dynamics, and we're going to mix in some color. Okay. Changes in quality, okay? <laughs> So which singer would you rather hear? Well, number three now. Because why? Yeah. Um, it, it just seems like it's got a lot more character to his voice. Okay, so tone then, what we're talking about is is the change in vocal positions or the quality of sound. You said something really important, it changes the character. Right. So all of a sudden, it's no longer about how I feel when I'm singing, but how you feel right. when I'm singing, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. And you started to feel it's something more emotion. a lot more emotion. There, there you yeah, go. Like you said okay. About so we're going to tie all these together now and okay. add in the technique to do some ornamentations and hopefully they kind of mirror each other to give us this which begins to, to carve out that vocal thumbprint okay. which is really more of what we would consider to be an artistic interpretation versus right. just somebody who sings good okay. does that make sense yeah. Next to someone else, you go home to call me, and I ask you, boy, what you been doing with yourself, and you say nothing at all. 
number one, number two, number three, number four. <laughs> number four, yeah. But why? Uh, you know, there's just so much more emotion and color to it. It, it, it just has its own voice, and not no pun intended. But and that's the whole point, yeah. is to help each singer, yourself included, to have your own voice and to enhance the voice that you already have yeah. by being able to break it down and understand if you want to, if you want more tone, if you want more quality changes, you go here, and this is really where we work is on vocal positioning. You know, technique is is all, it, sometimes it's not even really singing; it's the sound qualitative things right. that we add in yeah. that gives it character. Okay, to rough it up, to sandpaper yeah. it, to give little trips and, and rips right. and runs. Dynamics strictly diaphragmatic issue. It's core strength yeah. it has to do with being able to increase and decrease pressure and to control the airflow because air is sound. Period, and then pitch. Everything else falls down around that because if we can have all of this good stuff here, and if you sing a bad note, ultimately right. you're a bad singer. Right. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Great. Thanks. Boom, boom. Appreciate it. All yeah. right. Cool.